This is the insides of a uh, ViewSonic. Don't know the exact model or VX two two three five WM dash five. It's a um, it died. Um, just had this thing open because I'm ordering some parts from DigiKey, so I figured might as well get the caps for it. And um, that's why it died. It's a 10 volts, 2,000 donut microfaradlytic. Uh, Crapson, of course. All these are, well, cap, Capzon, but they're called Crapson for obvious reasons because of. <laughs> but, um, and of course, one of the interesting thing is that while digging around in the parts, this is just a Delta made. Looks like it's probably a standard module. It's a combination of a 5 volt and 13.8 volt power supply and a backlight driver. Um, so this is probably a standard power supply for a lot of um, low-end um, liquid crystal display monitors. Um, looking at some of the uh, legit caps that I have, of course I'd be able to make them fit, but I've got some Nichicons that are about double the size, or about good 30% or 40% bigger diameter than these um, 1000 microfarad 25 volt ones. Of course, they'll claim 221 degrees Fahrenheit, but I don't trust that in the slightest. Um, so yeah, um, I think that one's 220 microfarad, as is that, of course, those are all going to get replaced. Um, of course, those I've got caps for, but that one is um, 1000 microfarad, 10 volt. So I'll have to do some... Worst comes to worst, because I had to kind of smash the frame the bits in order to get the thing out, because it was all held together with snaps, because... Chinese product design is absolute rubbish. Um, but worst comes to worst, I could um, modify the shielded housing that this could go in, or who knows, maybe even not bother with the housing, but I don't know. So that one I might also replace. Um, got some right size caps, but they're only 250 volts, but because, uh, at least depending on the topology, if this is never going to run on 240 volts, I'll see if the bus potential, because it looks to just be a straight-up great bridge. Um, I could, in that particular instance, I might be able to get away with replacement with a smaller cap, but who knows. I might just get some just so that I have them. And of course, anyways, it gets to this thing really simple, really bare bones. There's just this um, driver chip crystal. This, is, this handles all the um, DVI and... Um, VJ input signal processing, that's likely a local pot rig for it, various associated drivers. A um, whole bunch of differential signal pairs for the um, dot board. And then this just has a um, one piece um, audio input um, buffer amplifier stage. So yeah, very, very, very stripped down in this thing, but um, and then of course the fast bulk of the thing is just the TFT panel. Anyways, now to see if I can bring this thing back from the dead.